Just tons of stuff that I didn't know. Did y'all know? No. I didn't know. Maybe you didn't either. I didn't know. What's really good, man? B Dot here. Today we are still at MTA. We're back with the estheticians. They back there bringing the glow out of your face. Hair bumps, gone. Little mustache, out of here. You know what I'm saying? I am a graduate of Winston-Salem State University. As a matter of fact, I got a WSSU Ram in the building, ain't it? SU. And of course, there is an Aggie in the building. Aggie pride. And I even heard there was a Bronco in the building. Bronco pride. It's a lot of HBCU love around here. My alma mater was founded in 1892. And it embarrassed me that I was not familiar with Wilberforce University. Are y'all familiar with Wilberforce? Now, Cheney University is the first HBCU, but it was founded by Quakers. The very first HBCU that was founded and operated by black folk, Wilberforce University in Ohio. Now, if you look it up, it was also a vacation spot for slave masters. See, black folk in Ohio, they were free. Slave masters would take their slave mistresses from the South up to Ohio to Wilberforce, but it wasn't named Wilberforce. It was the Tawawa House. It's actually a book about it called Winch, W-E-N-C-H. Great book. And the title is Winch because in those enslaved periods, black women were called winches and black men, they were called bucks. You can review previous episodes of I Didn't Know Maybe You Didn't Either about buck breaking. Just tons of stuff that I didn't know. Did y'all know? No. I didn't know. Maybe you didn't either. I didn't.